morning so I'm um, really sorry this video is late this is the complimentary video to the lesson I um, tried to film the video twice um, the video with the oranges on only recovered half of it I only recorded half of it rather and then the video with the cherries on didn't really record any at all because I was trying to put a new camera out so I thought try another day so we're going to look at water soluble crayons or water soluble oil pastels and see how they behave i've done a, a swatch of different ones and then how they behave on what is like bible paper so this is an anglican hymn book and then you gives you an informed choice if you want to use these um in your um, bible journal so i've got them laid out here so this end it goes cheap to expensive when it comes to art materials and my chart will follow the same way so if I chop move my chart around that way we've got this one these ones are the cheapest through to these three so as we go along I will explain which ones are which so these are kind of waxy crayons that react with water or don't react with water in this case very well so um, the paper that I'm using is the same paper that's in your devotionals. Oh, that's not moving at all on there. So you'll get an idea of how they'll behave in your devotionals. So what I've done is I've coloured them on and then I'm just wetting them to try and activate them. And what should happen is they should end up a little bit like watercolour. So what I'm going to try though is I'm going to try just wetting the top of the crayon and see whether we can get some pigment off it like that, this bottom bit, which it doesn't seem to want to do. Right, so I'm going to leave that and we'll dry those off in a minute. So they're the cheapest ones, they're from Tiger. These are from Amazon, but I think you get them in other places. They're called Study Time, they're designed for schools because there's lots of them and they're very cheap. I can't remember the prices, I bought them ages and ages and ages ago. Like see, these are starting to break down, actually turn into a watercolour. Now I've tried to pick similar colours in each set. But obviously it's not like for like, it's just so you've got an idea of how they behave. And so this is the paper that would be in devotional. So these are Prima Marketons. So that the C's ones, they're very dirty because they've been um, sat in a box that I use for workshops. So I'm hoping you're noticing as we're going down, the more expensive they are, the better they're kind of um, dissolving. So this Prima Marketing one or all the original line marks have gone. The next one's a portfolio. I think they're by Crayola. They're these ones. They're portfolio series oil pastels. got a little bit of pollution from the pink but get the idea I tried to scribble the same amount of pigment onto each one but it's not scientific this one this particular green was quite crumbly actually so now we're going into um, the more expensive ones so these are the woodies so these are woodies. They're by uh, uh, Stibilo. Oops, I've got a bit of green yellow going off there because I haven't cleaned my brush up properly. Never mind. That yellow doesn't seem to want to move much. The green does though. I wonder if that was because I didn't do a very good test there. Let me try again. That's better. 
is moving. Still not quite moving as well as some of the other colours. And then these are the Faber Castell Neo colours. I just don't think I put much pigment on there. There we are. So I'm going to let that dry for a minute and I'm going to come to my Anglican hymn book, which yes, I have had permission to uh, to have. I donated. So I'm going to colour them. I'm going to use the greens, I think, because that's the colour that shows up best. And let's have a look at how these behave. I might need more than one page of Anglican hymn book by the looks of it. So fortunately, I ripped some more out. Uh, green. So you might have noticed as I'm colouring with them, that you can see a bit closer, the texture. So that's your really cheap one and it's just getting smoother and creamier. To, when you get to the wooders that are here and the, now the creamiest one of that set seems to be the wood is. So this is the same paper as your Bibles and let's see how they're going to react there. So the green's not really moving very much unless I put lots of water on. So that's the first one. Next one. That's moving quite well actually. I'm going to move these round. I'm going to move these round so that you've got them in the same order as they had before. This one is your um, Prima Marketing. This one's your Crayola. I've got two pieces there. This one's your Wooders. And this one is your. Um, Neo colours. So I'm going to dry these off and we'll come back in a minute. So it's all dry now and this is kind of the result. So this is just washi tape that I've used because I haven't got any other tape to hand to um, stick this down. So my thoughts, your thoughts, you can see. So the Tiger ones, not overly impressed. Um, they go through, they're just not good at all they were five or six pounds so they are what they are study time um are the next cheapest ones they, they don't do bad and i don't know if you can see it actually it's really hard. didn't go through much it, it shadows but doesn't go through and the only time that any of these have seemed to really gone through is because i've heated them and then the wax has gone through so study time's good the pink's not very good though it's still not very pigmented. You can still see some of the lines here. Prima, I'm really impressed by. Um, and if you look at the Bible style page, let me just turn this. I'll just say before you. So if we look at that one, there, it looks like it's gone through. But actually, that's because I have been impatient and I've heated it, and that's where the wax hasn't dissolved, and that's my fault, not the crayons. The same with the portfolio. They're looking quite good. There we are, portfolio. And again, there. Wood is that red, that um, pink didn't seem to dissolve well. I'm wondering whether it was my, me or not. But all the other colours seem to do really well. And on the Bible page, it was a dream. The neo colour are my favourites normally, but they didn't behave as well as I'd like them to do. But on the Bible paper, they were amazing. So it's horses for courses. It's up to you cheap going to more expensive the wood is and the neo colors are about the same price point um the advantage of the wood is is they come with a pencil sharpener so i just managed to turn my camera off then um not having much luck with camera. so these come with a pencil sharpener so you can sharpen them if you give it a bit welly to quite a good point so that you can actually cut get more detail and these little shavings here, you can use, not the wooden bits, but the pencil bits, you could um, pick up with a pen, paintbrush 
dissolve them and paint with them. So look, you could dissolve them and paint them if you wanted to. So actually, that might be a way with the wood is to get a better pigment. And I know if I do the same thing with the neo colours, because this is what I do a lot with. If I use the end and paint like that then you get a lovely finish. So it's up to you, whatever you want to spend. Use what you've got if you've already got them. You can equally do the same thing with watercolour crayons, pencil crayons. It's completely up to you, but I wanted you to see um, the differences so you could have an informed choice. So, but use what you have. 